We're breaking down another dance practice today, and this time it's to New Jeans 2023 MMA dance practice. With this specific performance, they actually split it up into sections, which I do like. Some of the members got solos, and I think with these solos, it actually showed their personalities in terms of their dance style and the way that they actually perform. So we're actually gonna be focusing more so on that. I think in general, this performance was actually pretty chill. The remixes wasn't more, like wasn't too loud. It was more on the chill side. So let's go and break this one down. If you guys haven't followed my Twitch, ladiesman5678, go and follow it. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And let's go and roll it, baby. So I think what's important about Head in Section is that she owned it. That's what I want to point out for you guys. And so in this section, I think it was a really good choice to use New Jeans as the song for her. And then having these platforms here allow them to have a little bit more of a dynamic within the formation in itself. Love the way that they attack when the beat drops. Okay, super cool effect there where she does the little point thing to the left to the right and then the backup dancers will go ahead and follow that actual point and then they hit these two poses all together which i think creates a minimal but nice effect without having to go too hard with it since the song in itself is actually chill or the remix and with head and section i actually think that there's a playful theme behind it which i like but at the same time they keep it serious because they want to kill this section as well i actually really like this posing section between all of them so the reason why i really like that is because hedden has to not only stare at the camera for a certain amount of time but she has to keep the character and not break character so in this case what i want to point out is that hedden's confidence has really really improved over the time that she's been in new jeans and i think um in the mma performance and the dance practice she really shows that and this is where they show a little bit more on the loose side where they go with more of the footwork and a little bit more on the hip hop side in terms of movement nice head iso there so i think in uh in particular with that specific section where they kind of kill it off for this section is being loose and also being effortless with the footwork so it's something to point out and i think I, I think we can all agree when we first saw new jeans where if hadn't caught your eye it was most likely the footwork that she displays throughout all their dances but yeah she has been showing a lot more confidence and a lot more stage presence for just for her in particular so I really appreciate that about Hedden. And so now with Danielle, out of all the members, this is just in my opinion, has the best posture and has almost pretty much, I think, really captivating stage presence. So I think this section, this upcoming section is not about killing the choreo. It's not about having all this choreo, but it's more so about letting the audience be captured with the performance and character with, da uh, with the way that Danielle displays it along with the backup dancers. You're going to see that in this section, they're going to be moving around a lot from like stage left, stage right, upstage, downstage. Love this line where they walk up to the front and kind of attack the camera and then obviously Danielle will stay center. But the reason why that's really important is because when you go ahead and do a walk like that, especially as a line, everybody, not only Danielle has to kill it, but everybody else has to display the same level of confidence, posture and stage presence with Danielle. Otherwise, the effect doesn't read if one person is just not confident about the way they walk. So that was very important there. And you can see with this section, it's more about, we want to show you who Danielle is. She 
just gonna go ahead and kind of like go down this section of the backup dancers to have choreo with them and again i think this is also playful as well and you see how they're still moving around stage they got a whole line to go and follow danielle and this is what i mean about her section is that while it's not the most complicated choreo or choreo dense section she has this like way of performing where it keeps you engaged and i think a lot of it has to do with the staging and as well as the way they, they actually move around stage and the way that everybody not not just danielle is it's the way that they perform towards the audience you don't need crazy choreo to keep your audience engaged. It's about how you do it and how you display it. Yeah, very playful. Just following the camera, moving around the stage a lot. And I think with the ETA section, there's something about, there's something special about this particular section. I think it's the way they remix the song. So you can hear like, a crowd or like a group of people talking to each other within the song right and so the way they emulate that is having this blocking or like this formation where there's a couch everybody is like smiling laughing at each other uh, and then you have Hayne recording Minji like that and it's just to really Im imitate the way that the song actually sounds by having this type of formation having this type of playful slash group camaraderie to display that. I, I really like that it's not again there's nothing too crazy about it, but I think it's it's a nice detail, nice touch. And so with the ETA section, and I know I've been talking a lot over the video, this is where they kind of have to, the choreo here is more dense and a lot faster. And you see the way that Hayne attacks that, right? And then you'll see Minji run on the side. I think what they want us to really feel here is actually the quickness and yeah, the quickness slash swiftness of the choreo where they have to hit moves a little bit sharper. And also not only that, but they have to be a little bit more loose with their footwork as well. And I think the outfit coordination with all the members and the backup dancers actually meshed really well. And it gives us a nice aesthetic. So, I think in this section, um, in particular, I think Minji actually shines within this section. I think she was very comfortable with the way that it was choreographed. It was fast and it was very strong in the core and as well as the shoulders. But I think she really did a really good job of displaying that. Hayne also killed her section where like she goes in the intro and kind of attacks the camera. Don't worry, like everybody in there, in every member had their time to shine in each section. Love that they did the, the TikTok meme here. But yeah, with the ETA section, you can obviously tell that they went for more of a faster choreo and it's more dense, more bouncy, more footwork. So if you can see here, I'm actually going to go rewind when uh, Minji gets to center and then they all, all of them three kind of just attack the front. A lot of footwork here and a lot of bounce. So what they want to show us here is that they're having fun with this section. And then another thing to point out is they kind of have to be clean, which means uh, what I mean by that is that they kind of have to hit all their angles, like especially their arms. Like if they have to be a straight line, has to be a straight line. If they need to have diagonal arms where they point out like this, they have to all hit that at the same time or essentially imitate e each other to give that in sync illusion. Yeah, lo love the ETA section just because they showed this like camaraderie in this formation in the beginning at the end. So now, with Hani's section, she cannot break character at all. Even though this applies to all sections, she can't. Not once. Because the song in itself is very slow. 
but also very like I don't know how to explain it. I want to just say slow and calm. So she needs to display this calmness within her character because adrenaline can actually take over. Adrenaline could actually take over the body because, uh, and then you will lose details and or character when you allow adrenaline to take over your body when you're performing. I've had instances when I used to perform or when I performed, I've messed up some details in the choreo because I let I allowed adrenaline to take over me. So in this case for Hani, uh, she, she performs a lot along with new jeans. It, it, what's important is that she cannot allow adrenaline to take over. Otherwise, she loses those details, especially for Cool With You. This is more of a extending the limbs and dancing outside of the box but at the same time you can't aggressively attack certain moves because of how the song is it's very calm so she needs to do a lot of reaching movement a lot of full extensions and really filling out each movement until it's done I love the style for Cool With You. A little bit more on the contem contemporary side. And so if you pay attention to this part, they're all fully extending their arms and not dancing inside a small box. And again, it's crazy how there's still this new jeans style within this type of piece or section crazy and i think with honey honey displays an elite level of i think stage presence and i don't know how to explain that further i think you guys could, would understand the more you guys watch new jeans in general in this next section there's not a lot of dancing it's just all all of it is character and posture and they're just singing get up so there's i don't think there's choreo for it so there's not much to go around here i think the only important thing is keeping character and keeping that stage presence for the audience this is their best song best song yeah i like how they're sponsored by nike dude they're like dripped out in nike it's so sick <laughs> So with ASAP, I actually think, this is just my opinion, this might have been their weakest part of this entire dance practice. I don't know if the song in itself actually was like dwindled down, so I don't know. But I think with this one, they wanted it to be, I'm going to seem more on the chill side. Because as you can see, as we progress through ASAP, right, or ASAP, like, there's not a lot of choreo that they're doing, even until they reach this moment of the dance, where they're sit two of them are sitting and then they're all here, they're now gathered. They haven't done a lot of choreo. A lot of it was just presenting themselves. But again, the remix itself is actually chill, so... A lot of it is more so just presenting new jeans and who they are rather than doing explosive movement. I actually do like this remix more than the original. But yeah, as you can see, they're not really doing explosive movement or moves that would make it seem like why are they trying to kill all the beats? But it's just in my opinion, out of all sections, this might have been their weakest section. You guys feel free to argue with me if you guys think this was stronger. However, they still keep that new jeans essence, the theme, cleanliness, and as well as the freestyle, the little freestyle moments that they've always been having since new jeans was a thing. But what I do want to point out with New Jeans is that they do a great job of presenting themselves in front of a camera. And I swear, every dance practice or award show practice, they have increased their confidence every goddamn time. And 
I think that's one thing that we should appreciate about New Jeans, especially because they're new, uh, they're a rookie group still. Yeah, they still keep that cleanliness. They still keep a lot of the theme that they want. Great dance practice overall. Every time I watch an award show dance practice for New Jeans, I think <laughs> they have always somehow gotten better in such a short amount of time. Like they're very busy. Like they're a very busy group. They're not only just traveling a lot. They're probably doing a lot of interviews. They're doing a lot of dance practices, right? They're rehearsing for their songs, making new music, um, doing commercials. So the fact that they can still have the have these like significant jumps in their performances in terms of the way that they move the way that they actually execute da uh, dances is insane to me given with the little amount of time that they actually have this performance this entire performance wasn't the craziest or like extravagant performance that new jeans ever had but i think it showed personality i think it showed individuality between the members and i think it was one of those like playful themes where the entire time you watch it you can't help but smile anytime new jeans come out with a new dance practice i'm breaking that down because that's the group that got me into k-pop and if you all love new jeans if y'all are bunnies just like me go and subscribe peace